Hi, I'm James Clark. I'm the co-founder of Room 214. I'm here with my friend Gail Van Gills. She's the founder of Transform Your Culture. Welcome back, Gail. It's great to be here, James. Glad to be talking with you. Yeah, so um, we covered what is mindfulness. Uh, and now we're going to talk about mindfulness in the workplace. And as a strategic marketing and creative agency, it's really important for us to really understand how do we juggle things, how do we move things forward, um, and how do we bring mindfulness into the workplace to be able to do that. Well, particularly in a fast-paced digital creative agency, you probably have a lot going on at the same time. People have a lot of balls in the air, a lot of things they're trying to focus on, balance, move between. That can be stressful if you don't know how to place your attention and fully address each task completely in the moment that you're doing it. So stress actually comes from this sort of discordant feeling that I should be doing something else, which gosh, we feel that all the time. No matter what we're doing, we think we should be doing something else. And that's being very hard on ourselves. So actually noticing that and allowing yourself to place your attention. That's one important stress reducing um, aspect. So pure just attention placement uh, and mindfulness of the work that you're doing in that moment. Because we, as an agency, we have multiple clients. You can be going from one meeting to the next, That's which right. could be dealing with totally different stages of work, totally different clientele, totally different mindset. So, But if you can make that transition and then be there. And mm. that's what you need to do, is be there. And so if you can be fully there, you actually will accomplish it in less time, with less stress, which improves your health. Because stress actually creates a, a lot of hormones that keep us in that fight or flight um, pattern. So our heart is racing and we're geared for action. And when we're geared for that kind of action, like running away from a tiger, which is where these um, reactive impulses were designed for, what happens is that the blood actually moves away from our rational thinking mind, our prefrontal cortex. And over time, it becomes harder to focus and do your work if you're in a constant state of stress. And in terms of your health, it has a toll and there's actually a correlation between um, poorer health and stress and better health after practicing meditation and relaxing the nervous system. So it, it, it improves your health, it beats distraction, and altogether, when you can relax and be present, you can get into a sense of flow, which I assume we'll talk about a little bit later when we get into the creative process. That makes people happier. Yeah, it's interesting, like flowing can even be from, a lot of us are sometimes have back-to-back -back meetings. And so it's really the transition between those, like, you know, when are the opportunities? I mean, we're, we're so busy, or we tend to think that we're so busy, we can't do something else. So when should we be focusing, and, when, and how do we bring mindfulness in? Yeah, so we can bring it in as mindfulness in action. So as we discussed in the um, previous video on how to do mindfulness of bringing awareness back to your breath, you can bring your awareness to the task, or you could start your day by deciding to be present. So you, you actually make this conscious effort to sit down, look at your to-do list, look at your calendar, and decide, I'm gonna be present for these activities. That's, that's being mindful, just to start with a setting and intention. Then if you do get agitated, or you're having a difficulty making a transition, you can be kind to yourself and sort of step away for a moment. Go outside. Or if you're talking with someone, say, excuse me, I need to use the restroom. I mean, literally interrupt the activity or the situation that has got you caught. Mm -hmm. So that's being mindful. So that's like returning to your body, returning to yourself. Or let's say that you're um, really feeling agitated or stressed or distracted or caught up in a whirl of thoughts. You can do something simple like connecting to your senses. So you can make this a habit, like any time that you open a door, when you turn a doorknob, that that is a signal to you to be present, to feel the doorknob. Or if you're pushing on doors or whatever it is in your particular building. Or if you're really needing a, a, a chance to be um, in tune with your senses, you could go wash your hands. 
just run water on your hands. And all of these things bring you out of your ruminating mind into your body, back to the present moment. So these are these are important. Like a little self-soothing almost. It's a little bit like self-soothing. Yeah. And um, there's one sort of acronym you can use to remember what to do um, in sort of any situation that's got you triggered. And I'm, I'm going to think particularly about, let's say you received an email that makes you angry, because this is one that happens to me a lot. It's called STOP. So S-T-O-P, each letter stands for something. STOP. S stands for stop. I'm literally just stop. You, you got this email, you feel like eh, inside you, you're clenching up, you're ready to just, you know, scream at someone. And then T is take a breath. So do this again, come back into your body, pause, take a breath, take two breaths. And then observe, what am I feeling? What's going on here? And that information is in the present moment, is what you're feeling right now. So you're back, you're out of reactive mind, you're back in the prefrontal cortex, observing what you're feeling, and then you can proceed. And proceed might mean, first of all, reread that email, because so many times I, I read it and at first pass, it's not even what it says. Or if it actually is something that you still are reactive to, Maybe proceed means don't do anything and wait till tomorrow morning. So you can make a rational decision by just remembering to stop when you're feeling any kind of agitation or triggered state. I mean, I like that you're introducing this idea of observe. And that is like, how is this actually making you feel in the moment? And so when we're going through just like mindfulness, like these small little practices, uh, I would sort of mantra that I've been using is, uh, this guy said, every time I walk through a door into a new meeting, I say, I'm a happy man and I'm here to serve. And it's like, I just left whatever it is, and I'm like walking into the situation like new and improved in a way. It's just like, okay, I'm here. Uh, and so like even those like small practices, such as that, as washing your hands, self-soothing, I mean, it sounds like we can retrain ourselves through these small little practice to be less reactive and each time we do it you know it becomes easier the next time essentially exactly you got yeah. it all right so, <laughs> thank you yeah no thank you Gail. it was really important i really like the the discussion around mindful at work